by FLL Team 2x4 and FTC Team Turtle Tech. This video is about the seven ways to nail the robot judging rooms in FLL. The first thing is to tell the judges about your strategy. Here's an example. How did your team decide which missions to do when and how to group them? Uh, we decided what looked cool. We made a spreadsheet that, that calculated the number of points per second we could get with different arrangements of missions. We tackled the ones that looked like they would use similar attachments and were close together on the same thing is to talk about what made your robot innovative. What is the coolest part of your robot? Uh, I don't really know if there is anything innovative about our robot. I mean, we downloaded some instructions online. And... Innovative part of our robot is probably the passive attachment that can dump three energy units into the energy storage mission. It took us like two weeks to perfect, but it works really well. Number three is tell the judges about the iterations of your robot and attachments and what changed between each changes that has, have happened over your robot this season. Um, hmm. I think we added an attachment. The first iteration of our robot had wheels that were too wobbly for us to use, so we added wheel cages. And these wheel cages help us drive much straighter for longer distances. We also added a gyro sensor to help us do exact turns. And we changed our energy unit dropping attachment because it was only dropping two of them and the other one was getting sick. Number four is comment your code. You have no idea how important this is and how much judges, especially like computer judges or robot judges, appreciate could your team show me a segment of your code, just as an example? Uh, so this is our code for doing um, uh, the windmill. Um, yeah. OK, so this is a line following block. That's some nice commenting you've got going on there. That's really useful, because I can see exactly. One thing that judges really like seeing is numbers of how exact and your missions can work. If you don't have numbers, how do you know that those missions are good to go? How did your team decide when a certain run was ready for competition? Uh, when it worked one or two times, I mean, we thought it was good. We used it then. It was, it, it's cool. We would, run, we would run it ten times, and if it worked at least seven of those ten times, we would use it in competition. If it only worked six or less times, we would go back to the computer and work on making changes. Number six just might be the most important. Talk slower. It, it makes a world of difference because when you have a five minute script and you're trying to get it done in five minutes, you are rushing because you want to get it done as fast as possible. Judges have a much harder time understanding you when you are talking fast. So slow down, it's fine. They will give you extra time if you need it. What? I didn't, I didn't catch. Um, this is our um, gyro driving with the ultrasonic sensor on my block. It, it, it helps by and driving straight while also using the. This is our two sensor line follower program. It works by first setting the motors and the target path, which is what color we want, or what light value we want the robot to see on the line, and the KP. KP is sort of the smoothness value. If it's lower, it's smoother. If it's higher, it's faster, or it's sharper. Right about number six. Number seven is the most important. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.